Hi, I'm Amit Singh, a technical marketing engineer at Cisco, and I would like to give you a brief demonstration of OpenFlow SDN solution on the Cisco Catalyst switches using the Cisco One controller. OpenFlow SDN on Catalyst switches is a solution to help networks become more open, more programmable, and application aware. I have a setup with the Cisco One controller with Cisco Catalyst 6500 and 6800 series switches and the Cisco Catalyst 3850. The setup demonstrates how do you redirect traffic onto a premium path and onto a best effort path depending on the traffic type. Now, let's have a look at the demo. So, as you can see out here, I have logged in to the Cisco One controller out here and the topology is automatically discovered. So I'll quickly go on to the switches. So here I have basically the 6500 switch uh, that I've logged in into. And if I had to quickly look at the configuration, here's how you configure it. You basically define a switch ID, which I've given a 6506. You define the interfaces that you want to be, uh, wanted to be part of the open flow network. And then you point the switch to the controller. Uh, the switch takes all the information, including LLDP and ARP, and forwards it to the controller, and the controller builds the topology based on this information. Now let's look at how we can actually define forwarding policies. So we go into the TIFF Manager, or Topology Independent Forwarding Module. We click here, and as you can see, I have a bunch of hosts, I have a bunch of 3850s connected to a core switches of Catalyst 6500s. Now, I have a bunch of paths which I've created. Uh, if I click on the path, let's say I click on the layer to flow path, as you can see in red, the path gets highlighted for you. And if I go and click on the premium path, the uh, path gets highlighted for you. Similarly, I've already created a policy for the premium traffic engineering path. And if I click on, click on it again, as you can see, the path gets highlighted for you. You can manually click and create paths or you can go ahead and define policies based on uh, latency or bandwidth in your network. So here we will go ahead and actually go through an example of defining a TIFF policy. So I'll click on create TIFF policy. I'll go ahead and give it a uh, name best effort. I'll use the source host, which is 1.1.2, uh, the destination, which is 1.1.3. Uh, I'm not using any specific protocols, but you do have the flexibility as shown out here that you can use one of these specific protocols. Um, as I explained, you have the flexibility of using latency or bandwidth or any number, custom number or string to define your uh, custom policies, but I'm actually using a custom path which I've already predetermined. Again, you can use def define the path you by clicking on the links in the GUI topology that you see out there. So I'm using the layer two flow path, which you saw earlier highlighted in red. I click on create TIFF policy. As you can see, the TIFF policy for this best effort traffic is being uh, installed onto the switch. Now let's go and look at the switch information and see how this is programmed into the hardware itself. So using the show open flow switch 6506, which is the switch ID flows all command, you can see all of the flows which are programmed into the hardware uh, on the TCAM. Uh, as you can see, I had two flows and basically all of the two flows have been programmed in hardware. Um, Similarly, I can actually go on to the 3850 as well and issue a similar command where I can say show open flow switch one flows all. And I can see the same uh, one single flow is installed on this switch and you can see that visible out here. Uh, now let's go back onto the controller. And now let's see if we want to tr troubleshoot this, how will we go ahead and troubleshoot it. Uh, oftentimes you have to issue trace routes or actually go ahead and do these things manually. Here, you go into the troubleshoot section, click on the policies. Uh, these are the two policies which have been installed. I'm gonna click on the premium traffic engineering policy, click on it. It actually shows you every single interface in that path as shown out here. You also have the flexibility of actually looking at statistics. So as you can see out here, I'm now looking at statistics of the premium traffic engineering path uh, and um, you if let's say at a certain point in the network there were traffic drops you would be able to troubleshoot it from right here itself instead of going and doing it manually on a per switch basis checking interface stats so you have the flexibility of troubleshooting it right here itself 
So as you can see, programming flows using the topology independent forwarding module of the Cisco One controller is extremely easy. Troubleshooting also becomes easy with the Cisco Catalyst SDN solution. Currently, the Cisco Catalyst SDN solution is available for proof of concepts. Please visit cisco.com slash go slash switching for more information. And thank you for watching.